Good morning, everyone. It's Spirit Sessions of View of the Light. It's 12 p.m. Eastern and 9 a.m. Pacific. And wherever else you are in the world, check in and let us know. Please take a few minutes and do a few things for us. One, share this out to your friends, because we're on our broadcasting from our new, um, our, from our page now, Spirit Sessions of View of the Light. It's kind of our, it's, we've always done this, but it's a new platform. We're no longer uh, in the Akashic Academy network, because that's no longer there. Um, so please take a few minutes and share it out. Uh, our, everybody here is sharing out on their pages, and I'll be sharing out afterwards. Um, the person who shares out the most today will win a session with Teresa next week. Um, sorry, yeah, no, Bex. It's Bex, with Bex. Okay. It's with Bex. <laughs> no. The person who shared out the most last week won a session with me. So um, we'd like you all to um, share this out. Um, and also, please like and follow our page. That way, you'll get announcement of who's coming on our show the next week. Sometimes we'll do a card of the week inside there. I think we're going to be doing a little bit more work with our page just to have it a little more active. And so Bex and Teresa and I are brainstorming on what else we can come up with on our page to make it more interactive. And also at the bottom, you'll find on this video, you'll find all our links, or the links for our guest, Christy Warning, the links for Bex, Bexy and T-Dubs their links to their private pages and how you can connect with them and myself. And um, if you want any of our services, connect with us. So there's lots of information there. Um, just checking to make sure we're all going live here now. And um, I hope you all can see us. Let us know where you're clocking in from and share them out to some of your friends. That would be great too. I'm seeing, hi, Kenzel is here and uh, she's here early. She's, she's a follower milestone, so that's yeah. awesome. So appreciate everybody coming on and following us. Um, Bex, would you want to introduce our guest today? Now that I think we're all, all shared out, yes, so yes. that's great. So most of us know her very well, and we love, love, love watching her, but I'll give you a little bit of her bio real quick. So this is Christy Wernick, um, one of our beloved sisters from the Akashic Academy, as well as just an amazing, amazing being, powerful healer, um, and just, oh, we just love you. <laughs> um, Christy is a true believer in miracles and that anything is possible. She brings that energy and intention with her into each session, along with what is for the highest and best good, by connecting with the highest source and other divine beings. It is her purpose to be a healer and teacher, among, along with many other amazing things. This is why energy healing, alchemy, manifesting, and being connected to the divine really resonates with her. She helps more, with more than just healing. There is a much bigger picture when it comes to healing and transformation, and there are many different levels and parts to each of us, yet it can all be very simple too. She loves helping with all aspects of the entire being, and she's here to change lives and can help you to transform your life for the better. Possibilities are endless, and so much can change in an instant. That's an awesome, amazing bio. I love that so much. And I think it's just so, it just speaks volumes about who you are as a person, you know, why you're here showing up every day. We have watched you for, you know, over a year now and watched you grow as a healer, watched you really step into your power to be able to help others transcend their challenges, their issues, help them really go deep into healing and become, you know, their true self. I love that you've changed the name of your show to Enlightenment, right? Sorry, I put this for Healing your way to Enlightenment. There yeah. you go. Healing your way to Enlightenment. Yes. Because <laughs> it's so true to where you're going on your journey. But can you talk about that? Because your, show, your show title changed as you've transitioned into this more present, more um, powerful healer. Um, and I think that that's really a great place to start. So can you talk about why you changed the title to your show? Yeah, and, and if you've noticed, there's been a lot of changes this year, even, you know, with the Akashic Academy. Uh, months before, you know, we it was announced that, you know, we weren't going to be doing the shows on there anymore. I knew that there was something coming. I just didn't know what it was. I just noticed that things were changing, but it wasn't just there. It was everywhere. A lot of people were just going through a lot of changes and things, which is good because, that's we're going to uh, another level, you know, which is fine, but we can and, and my what I, I would love to do is to help with inspiring people 
so that they can get there in a more pleasant way, so that they're at a higher vibration to, to really be able to make these shifts and changes more easily. And so, yeah, so I, like I said, I noticed a lot of changes going on. And so with the Akashic Academy um, and no longer doing the shows from there, I was just doing them from my page, which is fine because my, I just have this intention that I've put out there that, you know, no matter where I do my show from, it doesn't matter, you know, it just is. And so a lot of things I've just, I'm, that's one of my new things is it, it is what it is, you know, but my intention is that no matter where I do my show from people, as long as it's helping people and it's beneficial there, you know, people are going to find it. People are going to watch it. People are going to, and it, and it, whether it be live, whether it be on the replay, whatever it is, they will find the show and they, you know, if it's, if it's something that is beneficial for them, if it's not beneficial for them at the time, it can either plant seeds for something that are possible. I like to put out their possibilities and suggestions. I don't like telling people what to do because everyone is so different, but I can, you know, put out their suggestions or possibilities. And that way it's, it's just something that'll be there when they are ready for it, or they can always come back to it because these shows, that's the beautiful thing about social media and Facebook or YouTube, because these shows go on, well, I put them on my YouTube channel. I know that you all do too. So they really are in multiple places for people to go back and find whenever they're ready. And so that's, I just put that out there, but I changed from the power of energy healing to healing your way to enlightenment because that so many people are, that's the, the whole thing with, you know, awakening. Um, this is just a spiritual thing. People that are choosing spirituality over these other things, you know, when they're, when they're choosing their, their true self and, and really where everyone is going eventually anyway, right? So everyone will eventually get to where, wherever, but it's about enjoying the, and, and just making that journey to that is uh, much more comfortable uh, than, it, than it may have previously been. So it's really showing them different ways that they can get there and, and letting them decide what resonates with them as to what, you know, what works for them. But offering, I like having the show because it, it does, I bring on different guests too, because there's so many, there's, because there's infinite possibilities and, and infinite ways to do things, you know, it's like giving them a different ways, offering them different suggestions and saying, you know, this is something that you can, you know, try if it resonates with you, if, if it feels good for you. Absolutely. That type of thing. Now, what kind of, when you say healing your way to enlightenment, What's the key point to that? I know that you say that everybody has different ways to learn and, and different ways to heal and all of that, but what's your main focus in that? When you heal your way to enlightenment, what is that true purpose in healing your way to enlightenment? Well, ultimately, ultimately you heal yourself or, you know, it's getting to that point to where you, you know, you find that power, you discover that power within you that you can do that yourself, but it's just offering different ways to get to there. So, you know, so ultimately it's just really helping you to find that within yourself that is already healed, that is already healthy. And, but, you know, just offering different ways to get there so that it's, like I said, it's just a more, many different ways to, to get stuff kind of out of, out of the way, you know, to clear the way to that. But I also love, and, and eventually I may, because I don't really hold on to titles and, and labels so much anymore. Um, I don't know that I ever really did. Um, it wasn't me if I did, you know, it was just these, these things that were going on that I've let go of so much of. <laughs> And so it's it's very freeing. It's it's a very peaceful thing when you get to that point to where 
you you know other you're not allowing something outside of yourself to control you you know to to control your health your reality your well-being you know that you are a creator of of your own reality and so but what is it that you choose for that to be and the best way to find that is going in and in, in really just being present so not um so doing your best to not necessarily heal your past but to know that in this moment your past is is not who and what you are so it's like then it, it just it'll heal on its own so a lot of people feel that they need to and have to do all these things when really when you're in the present moment that stuff just gets taken care of so it's really trusting not only your your true self but you know that that highest source god source creator whatever that is within you and so and just and you'll start to notice that a lot of these things that you thought were true really aren't or don't need to be or you know you get to choose um but ultimately to to be free of any and all pain and struggling and suffering and things like that it is getting to that point of enlightenment but you can make things more pleasant in getting there by you know finding more things to focus on that that bring you to that present moment whether it be just something um that you enjoy doing uh or that you can just you know whether it's in nature or inside your own home even you know if you have a picture or something or if you're just you know you can actually you know just kind of be in in your be okay with it being in your body you know whether it's just kind of noticing that you're here and and not thinking about the past or the future because right now the, those don't exist in the present moment so you know, and, and there's so many different ways. I've been, you know, I, I did check in with like some videos and this stuff to do with like Bruce Lipton, Joe Dispenza, um, you've got Eckhart Tolle, you've got all these different spiritual teachers now. And, but that's the thing, there's so much information and people are, they get confused because they're like, well, what do I do? You know, you know someone's saying this and someone's saying that and how do I get there and all of this. And it's really not the figuring out part. It's when you're present and you're just in the moment, the answers will come to you when, you're, when you allow that to come in without your mind trying to figure it out because it's, it's really beyond our comprehension. Some things are just meant to be a mystery, you know? Uh, there's a song that my son listens to, and it's just it's mo ma mainly just music, but at the beginning there's like a little intro where, and I'm not sure, it's on... Um, it's on one of the the podcast things that he listens to or the Spotify and it has like a little introduction to the song where he acts this man speaks and it's talking about how like in the universe there are stars do we know how you know all about the stars and how they came to be and all this stuff and it's like just as those can be a mystery so can how the body actually works because like all we know is what we've been told and what we've learned and that's coming from someone like a scientist or something like that that was in you know that that discovered these things but did they discover the this is the interesting thing that i like to this is just something interesting that i find is that when they do these studies and they get these statistics and they they find these biologies and this is how this works and this is why this is and this they're coming from a, a more of a um a conditioned mind versus a, a place of just being you know so it's like so that's how we have all these programs and conditionings and things is because you know but what else is part of it that's how we get there though is you know at some point you got to know something right to go on I, I guess and so it's just getting to that point to where you just know without thinking about it but my my what interests me is do they when they do these studies and things and they find out these facts so-called facts um do they actually study someone that is let's say more enlightened versus someone that's not spiritual so that's that's my you know that's just a curiosity i have you know is this, have they done the study uh between this and this someone that has these programmings because they believe in them and someone that doesn't and 
So to me, I don't, I'm, I'm like, I'm not a statistic because it's like, you know, everyone is unique and they just take a, a group of people and, you know, and then they go by what the majority is. And so, but that's not, that's not who we are though. I love that. And there was one thing that you had said that really, it's something that I read years ago and it's kind of surfaced over and over again, but it was that, you know, we have the ability, like our soul has the ability to heal. We have to silence the mind for that though. So in that silence of connecting with the soul, we have infinite ability, you know, endless ability to heal and to find whatever is exactly right for us. We spend so much time filling ourselves up with information and knowledge because we think that if we can find it somewhere and we can harness that and figure it out and understand it, then we can do it. But we already have the ability, right? So we keep going back to within. Everything because is the mind is always going to have an answer to a question. Right. And it's going to have even more questions than you ever thought was possible because you're going to be thinking about your thoughts. You know, you're thinking about your thoughts that are yeah. thinking about its thoughts. And so it's just a never ending process. That's the reason why people call it going down the rabbit hole or, yes. you know, following this type of trail or whatever. It's like, but really, it's it's about reconnecting to, truly to and to that 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 source in which you are, and then there's just in, infinite information that will just be you will have access to whenever it is beneficial for you, or if you know if you have a question, you will receive an answer, and it will come to you without you needing to or having to think about it. So some people are are afraid of what's going to happen if they let go of that control that their mind has over them. And when when we actually, if you, and I like to, to help people by, by just, I guess, reassuring them or just offering that um, possibility, I feel like I said, I like to put out their possibilities because everyone's at wherever they're at, so I don't, yeah, I just like people to just be where they're at, but also consider the possibility in, in this, because this could be an ultimate truth, but people think, oh, it's too good to be true. Mm -hmm. You know, can it possibly be that simple? And of course, the mind's not going to believe that, you know, it's, it's going to say no, because I want to keep doing this and I want to keep, you know, keep you thinking and keep you doing this and that and the other. Um, but so if, if, we're connected to that highest source because we're here, you know, and our soul is already healed. Our tr your true soul is, is healed and healthy and it's love and all that. It's just these things that um, they, they say that of, in the subconscious mind that there is a soul level of the subconscious mind. So ultimately, when we believe that the soul is to be healed, it's really not the soul. It's a part of the soul. It's 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 like that what has been created by the mind or, you it's know, the bridge, it's the bridge that needs to be healed. Right? Yeah. And so, it's but you bridge. can do that though, and by just being present. And what is it that you do want in that present moment or choose, you know, but really just being because, and this is another saying that, um, that came about that, that I, I really like to, to help people with explaining. Um, but really, if you're connected to that highest source, though, first of all, that is unconditional love, that is harmony, that is peace, that is joy. There is no fear, there is no judgment in that space. Because, you know, it's there's not the, the past experiences and there's not worrying about the future. It is in that moment. And people are like, well, how am I supposed to receive what I want if I'm if I'm in the present moment, not thinking about the what I do want and all these things? And once again, that's the mind just telling you that, you know, that that this and that and the other. But what if you could? Um, I, I like the saying that says you attract what you are. So what do you think that's going to mean to someone that thinks that they are? unworthy or undeserving or thinks that so and so you know that they are something because so and so said this about them you know so what do you think that's going to do for them what do you think they're going to attract they're going to attract more of that in which they think they are so 
so what that saying actually truly is about perspective sometimes, right? Well, pretty much all the time, but, right. um, <laughs> or just not having any perspective on just it, just letting it be. Um, but it's really our attachment to things. But that, that saying really is though, you, you are what you attract, you attract what you are really. You, you, so you attract what you are. So what if you knew that you truly are unconditional love, that you truly are worthy and deserving, and that you truly are joy and peace and harmony, abundance. What if you knew and, and could really connect in with that and let that start to shift things for you? And that's where you create and manifest from because that is the ultimate manifester. But you could actually use that to know these truths, to say, I am this and believe it, and then that can actually program your subconscious mind from that space. Because then it's a truth and your mind's not going, wait a minute, that's not true. You're saying from this space where you know it's true and it can shift your mind, just as it can shift your body. Have you got a process that you can share? That There's several ways to, to do that, to be present and, and in the moment. Um, it's really not putting too much emphasis on I need to and have to do it this way or that way. Just know that there are multiple ways of doing it. Finding what works best for you. If it's something that is comfortable for you in that moment, when you're not in your thinking mind, of course, um, but also just doing it in a way that, that is kind of gets you there in the most comfortable way too, though, whether you're there or not in, the, in that thinking mind. But um, just finding a way to, to be, um, sometimes just taking deep breaths. If you take a deep breath, you'll notice that you're, you, you will stop thinking about things so much. If you just take a moment and calm down and take deep breaths, sometimes you can put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and that'll kind of like shut that off for a moment. That's just another little trick that I, I found that was, you know, sometimes helpful. Um, Anything that you can focus on that is not, anything that you can do when you notice that your mind is not going. So if you notice, oh wow, I was doing that and I wasn't even thinking. Okay, that's good. So it's like letting those be guides to different ways to, to, to do that. Whether it's meditation, which you can meditate anywhere doing anything that you're doing. You're meditating when you're just not thinking, pretty much, you know, <laughs> or you're not a, you're not allowing those, um, or not, not identifying with the thoughts. No, you're in your body. You're not. You're not in your head, more or less. You're back. Yeah, in, you're. In you're your just. Body. You're there. And so, it's like saying, you know, it's just like if something comes up that says, "Oh, I'm not so sure about that." Just say, "No, that's." You know. So it's it's knowing that you're not your thoughts. You're not your beliefs. You know, you're these these things, and you're not what anyone else says that you are. You're you're what you know. Th like I said, these true things. So if it's something that is negative or um, is like a lower vibrational thing, that is not who who you are, who you truly are. And so when you can start to not let those be so strong for you, then you can start being more of your true self and that will start to uh, be more dominant or more dominant or more powerful. You're allowing yourself to be more in your power to shift these other things and manifest from that place, um, create from that place. Whether it's just out in nature and you're just looking at the clouds, at flowers, at, you know, if you're inside your home, you know, just doing what you're doing and just being in that moment without worrying about all this other stuff going on, you can just start to, and it'll start to, um, that stuff will start to just kind of resolve itself the more you're just in that present moment. But people have these fears as to what, what's going to happen. And, and that's just their, their mind telling them these things. And it's, it's just, you can just say that's not true. And what I found is very helpful for me because this is a an absolute truth um, is to tell myself from my <laughs> from that place of just knowing um, that all is well. 
because really in that moment in the present moment all is well no matter what because a lot of times your mind thinks that it needs to and has to keep you alive you know and protect you and this and that and the other we've learned enough over time that we no longer need it or to have that fear in order to if you're like well how are we supposed to learn how are we supposed to do this and this and that and the other if we don't have this and that and once again when someone starts asking all these questions you can tell that that's just their their mind just you know kind of wanting to know all of this these things that when it if it's quiet it just it just knows it just is you know so um but it's it's funny that it does come up a lot where people like some people have a fear of death but when you recognize and realize that your soul is eternal that the true your true self never dies it can never die and so then you start letting go of some of those fears around that so when you start to recognize more of the truth you let go of some of those fears that you had and those don't those no longer control you but those will just you know just being at present moment all that just kind of goes away anyway and and so the more you just do that you're training your mind and your body to just be in that space and to be to just be so anyway you can you can manifest so much more quickly from that space um and that a lot of people when they do manifest what they do you know truly want and and is in alignment and things like that that's that's because in in some way shape or form even if it was just for a minute they were in that space they were coming from a heart-centered space i had someone he may be watching um here right now he, he had asked me sent me a message saying that he he doesn't know why he was asking me how he did it he was like this you know talking about miracles and he was like he was able to help someone and in in a moment they 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 healed and he doesn't know what he did and he was like so what happened you know how did i do that and i was like well <laughs> in that moment you were you were probably not thinking you know even if it was just for a second because things can shift in just an instant um so it's probably he wasn't thinking that was the thing he probably just something just took over in that moment and it allowed him to be a clear channel or allowed him to be a facilitator that wasn't you know um connected to some kind of outcome you know it wasn't emotionally connected to something you know outside of him and so um so in that moment it just everything just came together and that's how you know miracles happen in those moments which they happen all the time anyway but it's you know do you notice them or not because depending on where you're at <laughs> and and what you've got going you know so someone that's let's say they're thinking all the time and things like that um or worrying or things like that then you know they may not notice these things so much but you know it's just being open to noticing more but things ha I, I i'm a true believer though that miracles happen anyway and so and it can be just in those moments that you know amazing things happen just in in just the seconds or moments or just in and we can actually um attract the like i said from that place of of who you truly are yeah so true and i think you know with everything that we've kind of all been going through i know that we've talked about it a few times Teresa and Rhonda and i but like everything seems to kind of go upside down the past month or so you know everybody's kind of like whatever we held on to before doesn't exist anymore everything's shifting and changing so dramatically which is really giving us you know, the understanding that nothing is permanent, right? Except unconditional love, which is the truth. Love is mm -hmm. the only real truth there is. So mm -hmm. in these moments when we're going through this complete shaking up of our lives to have to shake loose anything that we think we are so that we can be revealed for who we truly are, I think these steps that you're giving, these key points of being able to really go into the present moment is really important for us to be able to get through those. Because sometimes it feels like everything's kind of falling apart around us. So mm -hmm. when you get to that point of the present moment and you start to feel more peaceful and calm, you start to notice that's being reflected back at you, where life calms down. Everything starts to shift, you know, because our life is a reflection of who we are, right? So mm -hmm. what you said is what you are is what you, you know, your life is who you are. It is what mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. So when we have something surface that might be uncomfortable or challenging, 
it's just an opportunity for us to say, okay, that's not my truth. I know who I am. I know what I am. I know why I'm here. If it's just to be, that's it. It's just to be. And it helps us be able to let go of those atta the attachment to how do I figure this out? How do I solve this, right? And I love that you're bringing that through today because it's like, we've really been shaken up a lot lately. You know, it's kind of like we're all going through as a collective, this mass, you know, like, let's just get it all out. You know, let's just purge all this crap, get it out, and really look at what we've been allowing to hold us back. So in those moments, being in the present moment, how do you maintain that? You know, because I know it's hard, but you can get there. You know, you can be in that present moment and say, okay, yeah, right now. And not I'm everyone's going to do that. And that's, and that's honoring where you're at. Mm -hmm. And it's because a lot of people are, are wanting to so badly to get to this place. And they're, they're forgetting about enjoying those moments. And so, and in those moments, you can create and manifest things. But so many people are out there, especially, you know, that are going through the spiritual stuff going on. And, but it's there because they're trying so hard to figure things out. When, you know, really, it'll all just shift when you're, when you're just kind of, you, you're just allow yourself, your, your true self. But so, you know, what if you could shift, like I said, shifting your, your subconscious mind based on and from that place of your true self. So it's not necessarily a process you go through. I have these, what I call conversations with God and, uh, and I will pace the floor and it's like, I will just go into that place where I know who I am and what I am and all these things. And, and from that place, whether it's just knowing that, Hey, within me, there is unconditional love. There is peace. There is harmony. There is joy. There is this and that and the other. And that's who I am truly. And I will just pace the floor and I will just have this conversation. And because I guess I get very passionate when I do that, because in, in, so that's another thing that you can do is just to really, and it's reassuring your mind and it's, it's actually programming your mind. I am these things. And so then it starts to let go of some, and, and you can also tell yourself there is absolutely look around you. You know, if you're sitting there in the moment, in the present moment, is there absolutely anything truly in that moment that is to be afraid of? And I mean, because in that moment, fear does not exist unless you're attached to something, attached to losing something, you know, Do, can you really lose something you never really had or that is not truly yours, like who you are, you know? Do, so there's nothing to, to lose. And um, one of the posts I did today was that, you know, you cannot fail at being yourself. And that was one of um, Wayne Dyer's sayings. And, and it's true. And so just being, but also opening up to more possibilities that anything is possible and that we are creators and you can create anything, anything really. And then ultimately though, when you come back to your true self, you know, you'll notice that there's really not attachments to those things. It's just, they just are. Um, it's just like if something happened, you were walking down the street and, and let's say you tripped over something or whatever, what do you, you know, are you just going to sit there and, and just, I mean, just be all mad about it and this and that or the other, is that really productive for you? Are you just, but what are you going to choose from that moment? You're going to choose to get up and continue walking, right? So I mean, all is well, right? So it's like, you know, so it's like not being afraid of, of falling, not being afraid of tripping or whatever, you know, it's just, it, but I noticed that though, like I said, when I go into that place and also just any time though, really just saying all is well, but coming from that place of that, I know that that's true. All is well. So really having sometimes a higher perspective, allowing that to come in. And so allowing that higher perspective to come in just to kind of help to show you the way. So, yeah. Did I just oh. lose her? Oh, there she's oh, back. She's there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it's just inviting in a higher perspective or a different perspective. The more 
positive you can be, I suppose. Um, you know, just letting go of some of the negativity that can help get you there. So these are just ways to heal your way to this just being. So that you're, you know, and then eventually you'll find that you're not attached to so many things, whether they're outcomes, whether they're emotions, whether they're, you know, whatever it is, it'll just be, and then you will just automatically and naturally, easily, um, effortlessly attract what it is that you truly are. And so then there's nothing to worry about, like, how do I do this? How do I manifest this? How do I, you will just automatically attract those things. So it takes all the, the guesswork out, but people are, so a lot of people are going through because they're they're so identified with what they've thought and and so and and they're thinking and they're um and i know i know trust me i i was there and and i i have my moments but that's okay um but you know it's it's realizing though that that that's not who you truly are Okay, so sometimes it's just adding in an additional word there to maybe, you know, so that you can, you know, you're, you can differentiate between the two. Um, and then you can just not let the other bother you so much because you're like, wait a minute, that's not who I am. Yeah, that's just what someone said. And that's okay that someone said that. So it's like not even reacting or responding to what other people say or think or do or whatever because, you know, are you going to let them tell you what to do, really? Like uh, Rhonda, before we came on here today, was talking about an electric fence and all this stuff. And it's like, well, why would I do, you know, would I jump off a bridge if someone told me to? You know, so it's like, you know, if they told you that, that that's, if someone else tells you, okay, go jump off a bridge and that will, you know, all your dreams will come true. Are you going to believe that? Does that feel like that's? that's the best thing to do truly like check in with yourself is that really you know because someone else said so no so that's the reason why i like to put out their suggestions and possibilities versus telling someone else who they are or what they you know i'm just saying you know what if you know what if you are truly these things because um if you if you go down to the basic just the the bare essentials there the bare foundation there it really all everything is energy and anything is possible and it really all does go back to love and not just any love yeah it's that pure love that highest level of that unconditional love it's a love actually beyond that that we couldn't even begin to to have a word for so sometimes there's not words for things and so but we get so caught up on the meanings and, and so it it, it there's a lot of misunderstandings and, and um, misinterpretations out there. And the mind is, is, the subconscious mind just knows what it's been told or what it's, you know, what it learned or this or that or the other. So it doesn't know any better, really. And so how do you, how do, and people are like, well, how am I supposed to know then? Your true self knows, you know, God knows, source, highest source, whatever. Your soul actually does know as well. And so, because that is that, but a lot of people are still working on healing their soul. And that's fine, because that's, that's like I said, it, it's getting to that place of not judging others, whatever they're going through either, you know? And so when you see in other people their true self, you can stop seeing these other things, these labels and things like that, you know? Or, you know, they're, they're not doing that right. That's not right. This, you know? What if there's no right or wrong, you know? Um, and of course, in here as, you know, in our human experience, of course, there's things that we know better, you know? So yes, definitely, you know, there's- and, Don't and pee on not, the electric fence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and not, you know, don't don't let anyone, you know, you have a choice um, to, to walk, you know, don't stay, I, you know, I would not recommend if someone's, like in an abu abusive relationship or something, not, you know, they can actually send that person love knowing that their true self is within them, but they can also get out of there and they can also, that person is accountable, you know, has to learn, but so that, but that's on them. So some people, they, they get really offended over things because they, they take it the wrong way sometimes. And, and this, it's just not, 
that's not productive either, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's just, but honoring where they're at, knowing that they'll get there. It, it, if not in this lifetime, it'll be some other time, but, um, but they're, they're getting there. And so just, like I said, honoring where they're at, but you know, it's up to you. It's not letting your outside environment, and that includes your mind, to control you, have that, that power over you, and it's taking back your own power and saying, I know this is who I am, and I, you know, I know what I deserve, and going from there. But not letting your outside and other people, I have a lot of people, some, some people that, that message me, and, and they're in work environments that are not pleasant you know they they got all these quote-unquote negative people around them and all this well if you're letting that affect you then there's something within you that you can that can be healed so that or can be resolved so that you're not affected by them but you also have a choice to go to another job or something like that if that's better for you or just make the best of what you have until you get to another job or something like that but if it continues everywhere you go, then yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah. not just them, you know. So if something keeps happening and people, I'll have people say, well, then I need to figure out what that is so that I can. And it's like, well, maybe, maybe that's the whole thing in the first place is you <laughs> figuring it out. So a lot of times just going in and connecting and having that relationship with your true self. Whether you want to call that your higher self or your soul, whatever you resonate with the most, whether it's Jesus, God, you know, it's funny. I was watching um, one of these uh, speakers, uh, spiritual teachers or something. They said, you can call it Louise. I think it was Wayne Dyer that said that. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's yeah, it's just Wayne Dyer. relationship yeah. with that that is unconditional love, that, that, that true self, uh, whatever that is for, for anyone out there. Uh, the universe, it could be anything. Um, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't care what you call it. You know, uh, it's what, what feels best for you. What, where, what feels safe and, and resonates with you, feels good for you. That's what you might be best for you to call it until, unless you find another name or whatever. Want to give it another name, that's fine. But um, whether that's God, source, creator, or like I said, sometimes I'll just say your true self, just because that's more universal um so it, it doesn't matter though as long as you're you you have that connection um you know and and have but have that relationship though and that help that will help to guide you more so i was just thinking how as a child i named everything george so i guess i'm going with george <laughs> i'm gonna have my george time every whatever day you want, whatever you want you know as That's long funny. as as long as George is not telling you bad things about yourself, exactly. then, then you're good. That's how you can tell. People are like, well, how do I know? And it's like, well, anything that's in alignment with your true self or that is your true self is going to be something loving and yes. positive and encouraging and supportive, you know, is, is going to know that you're worthy and deserving. It's not going to tell you that you're not. That's how you know the difference. For sure. So people are like, how do I know? And it's like, well, you know, what's, what's it telling you? <laughs> is, it encouraging? is it saying, you know, you're, you know, you, you, you are loved and you are blessed and, you know, all is well, or is it telling you, oh my gosh, this and this and this and this? No. Uh, so that is not, um, people think that their guides are telling them, you know that that certain things and and those aren't your really your guides if if it's telling you something that that you're not <laughs> truly um yeah that's 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 a way that you can tell because it would be divinely aligned things that and and people have a fear of god because they think that god created a lot of these things and it's like god's actually helping you to find your way back to your true self find your way back to to that and so you know, it's letting go of those fears because God does not, is not fear. There's no fear when you're connected to God. That, so this, it's just things that are in your mind that have been programmed or people have believed before. So it's, it's knowing even things that are, that, that are either causing fear or that may 
uh, may seem like fear, knowing that those things are are not divinely aligned and so are not coming from God um, and therefore or source, that highest source or your soul or your true self is coming from the, you, you know, the subconscious mind, which is fine. So it's not judging that as good or bad. It's just saying, I know who I am. And, you know, that way you can make the shifts and, and make a choice. Well, thank you, Christy. Brandon Real Pool said, I've been all over the place trying to learn stuff like this. Thank you for your <laughs> guidance. Yeah. Love that. Well, you're that's welcome. Cool. See, if I help, if that helped just that one person, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I do my best right now because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in this transition transformation myself, but it's like I've, but I've learned, I, I know these things now. So it's like now I know how to, to, what to do with that and what I can. So that's the reason why I did change the, the name of the show, Healing Your Way to Enlightenment. Because if I can help people to get through that, if, you know, if they're going through this or wanting to go through this, some people are perfectly happy with where they're at. And that's fine. You know, that maybe that's their own way. But if someone is going through these things and they find the show and this is helpful for them, then obviously, you know, I'm, I love inspiring people that more so than so many other things, because I do my inspirational posts each day. And I found that that, that just, it's, it's helpful though. So if there's something that is helpful, then absolutely do it. But if it's costing you in any way, shape or form, your own health or well being, um, you know, if it, if it helps you to thrive, then do it. If it doesn't, then there's obviously something for you to make a change with there. Um, so whether it's just letting go of something that may have t been telling you that, hey, you're doing something wrong. And, you know, that's that's not, you know, that wouldn't be your your true self. But um, but it, it definitely guides you, though. It, it guides you and, and helps you to let go of some of these things. And for some so people, Christy, it's, it's more pleasant oh. than others, but that's OK. So can you remind us uh, when your show is and where we can find you, Christy? Um, yes, my, uh, right now I'm doing my show from my page. Um, and even when I'm not doing my show from my page, I share it there. So it is the power of energy healing. So like I said, it's going to be changing after next week to healing your way to enlightenment. And it's from my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Christy Warnick one. And then in a couple of weeks, I'll be changing to awake TV network. And so I'll be changing over to there, but I'll still be sharing to my page and posting announcements of who my guest is going to be or what the show is going to be about. So I usually do, do those a, a couple of days, a few days before the show. And like I said, every day is, is inspirational posts. On my website, on the homepage, are some frequency numbers that people can go to. It's just a free resource there. And... Um, they can play around with those. I know that y'all have played around with some of those before with Kathy Holmeyer and, and things like that. But there's a whole list of those that I just have there. Um, the ones that I, I, you know, just felt was beneficial just overall. But um, also they can, if they join my email list there, there's like a little pop down thing. And it'll send you a youthful vitality video that I did that seems to be helping people. I've had people to message me and, and email me and contact me and say, I didn't change anything else, but I've been watching this video that you sent. And it's, you know, I've had people tell me that I, I look younger or that I'm looking great or this or that or the other, you know, they just feel like they have more energy, uh, things like that. So they, but they want, they said that they've been watching the video and doing it every day just to, it's, it's just, like I said, it's for youthful vitality. And they, a lot of people have actually messaged me saying that that's been very helpful, but I have all the, every, all of my links and all of that are on my website as well. And I do sessions. Yeah, and I've listed that. Yeah. Yeah. That's I do great. sessions um, as well. So anyone that is interested, they can go there to find out more about sessions, programs, things like that. Um, but I do a lot of, like the energy healing stuff is more of like spiritual healing and also mentoring and coaching and, and teaching and stuff like that as well too. So that's coming in a lot. Uh, and it actually comes through in the sessions as well. And things can shift very quickly because it sometimes it's just a, a just a 
just a, uh, almost like an adjustment of perspective there or, or their perception and it can shift so much it'll just be like this this shift for them and it that sometimes can help just as much as is just regular energy healing you know because it, it really everything really is energy anyway your attitude is everything it's true so what uh, t-dubs thank you so much christy t-dubs you have Thanks. some announcements and uh, oh, yes glad i to do see you back this week glad yes. to see you back thank this you week. i needed to take that break to take care of myself glad to have it thank you guys it's so good to see christy and all of you i love you guys so much so we have an announcement guess who shared it out the most last week and who has won a, sex, a session with Rhonda? Boom, bada, boom. Robin Quarles, you have won a hey, session. Robin. Yes, I'm so excited. And then whoever shares it out most this week will win a session with Bex. And next week, our guest is, is um, Terry Anderson, right? Or, 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 or oh, right? No, 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 that's. A uh, 22nd. 20 seconds. Okay, okay. I got it. So it's a mystery next week. Yeah, yeah, we got a mystery guest, a surprise to all of us, <laughs> and we'll see. And so we'll be back next week, and we're so excited that you're still here with us, and we love you all so much. That's all the announcements I can think of. I think that's all the right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Well, thank you all, and. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Thank you again, Christy. We love you, and we thank you for your wisdom, and we've all benefited from that today. So everybody go have a blessed week. Yes, thank you thank all. You. And I'll actually go back and uh, look through the comments if there were any questions. Uh, pretty much any questions. Uh, hopefully, you know, if they go back through my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, some of my videos recently might be helpful to answer any questions. But once again, I, I'm doing my best to, to share whatever I know at this time, which, like I said, it's, it's, it's evolving even more. So it's, you know, um, it, I just share whatever I feel is helpful at the time. And then, like I said, it, there's so much, so many other inspirational videos and motivational videos, things like that as well. In, um, like I said, I, and I upload them all to my YouTube channel. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, be sure to check those out, and that might be helpful. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. All right, thank Bye. you. See you next week.